Greetings, my fellow servants of the God Emperor. It is the Ash Heritor, and welcome back to Rogue Trader. In the previous episode, we went to help out Irliat and found out that she led us into a trap. I don't think she fully understood the grand implications of that trap, but needless to say, her desperation to find her own people resulted in her making a deal with the Dracon Marazai. And Marazai captured us, but in doing so, apparently he uh, angered the Archon or an Archon of the Cabal of the Black Heart, who are the top dogs here in Kimura. So, yeah, anyways, we were brought to Kimura, tortured for a while, and were thrown into the gladiatorial pits. Uh, we also were able to uh, have Marazai get thrown into the gladiatorial pits as well, because in angering the uh, Archon uh, of the Cabal of the Black Heart, not Azdrubil Vec, but some other lesser Archon, um, he's definitely gotten onto their bad side. So, we don't know exactly what he did, or why he fell out of favor, but we can potentially use his disgrace. So, we made our way through this area here on Komora, a lovely place. Just, you know, reality-defying architecture and all that. Um, and then died. And then the game did not save at any point during this long adventure, so... Yeah. I had to redo that entire thing off screen. So a couple of different things happened. Unfortunately, I was not able to talk the beggar down because I didn't notice that he had my boots. So I did ask him for help. We did trade. I traded a stimulant and got an extra pistol uh, from it. The beggar's weapon, which is actually uh, quite good. Certainly better than what we have by a significant margin. And we even have two of them. So that's cool. Um, It's a burst shot. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll hold on to one of each. Um, and uh, we were able to get a couple of different items. We were able to trade him for that item. Uh, when we asked to uh, have him, you know, help us further, he tried to shank us, so we killed him. And then we got our boots back anyway. So, alas, he's dead. I don't know if he was going to play in a part later, but uh, in case he was, he is no longer going to do that again. So, um... Yeah, we gotta either sneak past these Drukari, but there's a beggar there who's got stuff, and I would like Let to take not to get that stuff, because we need all the equipment we can get, I think. So I'm gonna open this up with burninating this Cabalite Ranger. Okay. I don't know if he noticed. I mean, we did just set him on fire, but it's clear enough that he's not bothering with us, but I, I, I want to kill them. I did save, by the way, so... I'll make it happen. So always keep your eyes. All right. Now we're in you combat. Don't in this galaxy. I'm gonna go all the way back here. And we'll fight them from here. I will. What's going on here? I, I feel like the cutscenes here are a bit buggy. So the camera is just weird. Like, this cutscene didn't seem to show us anything. Um, Who, if not anyways, me? prescience. Or, sorry, uh, forewarning and prescience up. And yeah, let's get some psychic work done here. So we'll, uh, we'll light him on fire uh, properly this time. And then I'll move away, because he's going to come He's gonna come at us. Alright, so there's a couple of them. I think we can take them. I'm just gonna get behind this as soon as we need to. So, with that, he should be dead. Yeah, I'm gonna get right here already. Why not? We can drop this right here. Make sure that we, uh... Don't take too much damage from anything. I am a prey taker. Okay. So this one will die next turn. So I think we can ignore him. And light up one of these other two. Let me educate you on the art of pain. I don't think we need to worry about any of this anymore, so... Your end was inevitable. 
Top one down. So what's the, the chance of damage? Very minor. We're much better off using our uh, car. Let's get rid of one of them. So two of them seems to do the trick. Uh, is there anything else I could do? I actually should be dropping front line up there. And then hitting them with that. Still have my other buffs, right? Forewarning and prescience. Where does it say? How do I get to my temporary stuff again? I... Here we go. Yeah. Because it lasts for the encounter. I was just making sure. Alright, so he's going to come in here. He's not going to make it to me, though. This one will, unfortunately. But... I think it'll be okay. We're gonna put a front line right here. Should make them take a little bit of extra damage, and then I'm gonna torch that one. You will pay for this in blood. And let's see here. I'm gonna put a foreboding down. On it. Give myself a bit of extra defense, and I will drop the perfect timing on myself in case they attack me with anything. Oh, you, uh, you aren't on fire anymore. That's a problem. I think we have momentum. That's always good. So we can do that, but I'm going to uh, wait on that. Because I will first be open firing here. We had a 61% chance of hitting here. Do it. Okay, one down. Let's drop the front line... I'll right there now. And I'm going to do take and hold. Here's my perfect moment. Okay. Drop that, and uh, I think that'll be good. Okay, we dodged. Fantastic. You're in. And we well, shot him back with our counterattack. Perfect. All right. Looking good. Fortunately, we cannot use these items because we do not have Drukari weapon proficiency, money so... To be made? But we can loot the, uh, the body up there. What did you have? All kinds of stuff. That is a Drukari grenade. I will be, uh, grabbing that. Instead of one of these stims. Is it a monofilament grenade? That can do some work. And then there were these, uh, the beggar's bodies. The dead man grins condescendingly, beckoning you to take place beside him. He has this life figured out. The fresh corpse has your face. Its killers are standing nearby, and you had better steer clear of them. Well, unfortunately for them, they're dead. We have ourselves a knife. All right, we killed those guys over a knife. Feels very Kimura. I always have a backup plan. So we already checked out here, but oh no, there is a door here. We just couldn't get through it before. But let's go the other way first. Yeah, it's just such a nice place we want to see all of the views while we can, you know? So that's where we came from. And this is a wall. Cool. Alright. <laughs> Back to the pit. I'm excited for the pit, are you? Before we go into the pit, I'm gonna save my game. And then we're gonna go into the pit. I don't trust the autosave anymore. It's, uh... Really not sure why I didn't autosave at any point throughout that uh, transition. That was. Uh, it bugs me. In game, suddenly. I don't know. Don't do something that they are normally doing and that ends up screwing you over. Um, ultimately, it didn't take me too much time to re record that because I could skip through the dialogue. I chose all the same dialogue options. I did fail a couple of awareness tests, so I didn't know about uh, Vect, and we didn't pick up on the fact that Iremorus was an Archon. But uh, I think we should be fine. We have more Shriekers here, whoever these guys are. If you surrender to the coffin and lie down, it will be easier for you to breathe. Okay, we already got this. It would be great if it didn't pause for the same uh, prompts here. Ah! Enough! You said we were brothers! Okay, we have uh, Malice here. You're a snake. And Drukari acting as Malice's servants. And Shriekers, which are people. Uh, it's interesting. Um, 
Usually it's the other way around. The Slith are servants to the Drukari, so this might be a very degraced or disgraced uh, Drukari that's being forced to be a servant to a Slith. Anyways, let's uh, have a chat with these two uh, upstanding tax-paying citizens. Uh, the den you have found yourself in is filled with heady smoke, and the walls are lined with living shadows. The center of the attention is a snake-like Xenos. He is engaged in conversation with a pale, harried-looking Drukari and pays you no mind, much like everyone else here. You've heard of this breed of Xenos, the Slith. These creatures can often be found in the entourages of powerful Drukari lords, where they serve as bodyguards and champions. They are just as depraved and vicious as their masters, but theirs is a more primitive intellect, and they are driven by baser needs. And survey the room with our fat Medicaid of zero. Failed. Everyone gathered here is armed. They all bear scars, and some even have fresh wounds. You notice a few humans among the Xenos. They clamor in a mismatch of tongues, and their laughter rings with lunacy and bloodlust. The air is thick with the all-pervasive sense of doom. Let's observe the uh, scaled Xenos. The leader of this gang is powerfully built. His scaled hide is reinforced with engraved metal in several spots. His long tail coils around and around, and as his snake-like head it sways gently from side to side, the Xenos is enjoying a state of blissful relaxation. His companion, the Gaunt Drakari, is looking at him obsequiously. Her entire body is adorned with hundreds of embedded steel beads and thousands of red injector marks. Okay. Uh, yeah. Implying that she's less dressed than she appears. So, maybe a courtesan of this thing? Uh, let's not think too heavily about that. May we speak? The snake-like Xenos either fails to notice your presence, or is simply ignoring you. Iridescent eyelid membranes slide over his eyes, momentarily shuddering them. No doubt a telling look among his kind. Without deigning to look at you, the cadaverous Drakari mutters, Malice wants you to disappear, pathetic whelp. I can pay you handsomely for your assistance. You have nothing. Don't waste my time, says Malice. The Xenos keeps his attention focused on the Drakari, but his scaled fingers holding an elegant-looking injector clench in displeasure. He speaks slowly and indolently like a snake about to enter brumation. <laughs> um... I could shoot them. I do have good coercion, but this is only a 30% chance. I have power. I can make you rich. The Xenos' casual tone is full of contempt. This place does not believe in promises, humanling. Gomorrah believes only in strength and spilt blood. You have spilt plenty of your own blood on my floor, and I see no strength in you. I just realized my fan was on and thought that that might be interfering with my recording, but uh, it actually didn't seem to do much in uh, during my cursory uh, listen. But anyways, uh, if you guys do hear some weird interference up till this point, that is what it was. Um, I will render valuable services in exchange for assistance. What use could you be to me? The Xenos yawns sleepily, his mouth opening disproportionately wide. But if you want to serve, I have a task for you. The den's temperature is controlled by an atmospheric convector. The scavenger who sold it to me forgot to mention that it was faulty. Unfortunate for him, he was unable to repair it. Now the scavenger is dead and I have to suffer discomfort. My race is cold-blooded. We like our mists warm. My gang, but not for hardware. Now, if you can fix the convector, I'll take pity on you. Smug and mocking, Malice stares at you unblinkingly. Um, this has some creepy connotations that I'm not sure I like. And I think... I'm just gonna do it. I shall take care of the problem. Hurry, hurry. Looking at your wounds, you don't have long to get the job done. I'm not gonna risk the, uh... Go 
Do I need to, like, heal myself? Look at our, our stats are not looking too good. Um, but why, though? Why are our miscalculations of a commoners? Good? I don't make mistakes. I make profitable learning experiences. A hundred wounds. Oh, cool. So this doesn't remove that, right? Removes one trauma. A trauma is uh Yeah, this is like a, a semi permanent injury, but this is not what that is. Okay, so let's actually go through our... We've been partially flayed. Something has upped your skin sensitivity 100-fold. Even a slight breeze now causes you searing pain. Hamstrung. Your tendons have been carefully cut with the thin, sharp blade in order to cripple you without completely robbing you of your ability to move. How nice. Darkened eye. You can feel something crawling inside your eye. You have lost most of the vision in it. That's also lovely. Deformed bones. Your bones have deformed, curved, and misaligned, making your movements clumsy and your body feel alien. A hundred wounds. Your body is mangled by cruel torture. You are on the verge of death. And we have two old injuries. I could fix them. But these med kits, I think I'm going to save till I actually have an old injury. So where's the the atmospheric regulator? I always keep Maybe my options open. Here. Oh, what a lovely place this is. Is there anyone we can speak to here, aside from Malice? And there's a wounded gladiator. Failure is just a Bruce temporary Blow has setback. caved in the gladiator's skull, but surprisingly he is still alive. Fantastic. It's always nice to see people hanging on. Yeah, we can try and fix the mechanism. I, I won't let it define me. Okay, it refuses to obey. Fantastic, so we have failed. Let us not dawdle. Can we just leave? I don't think we can. I think we're... Yeah, we're stuck here. So I can't get over there. I'm just getting some uh, probable amputation. I have a feeling the next fight will be my last. Pass me that stimulant. Very grim. Basically, everybody's just drugged out to uh, pick themselves out of the horror of the moment. Emperor only knows what these poor people have endured. Uh, so we... Yeah, your malice, I take it. Serpentine head turns towards you with inhuman fluidity, his forked tongue tasting the air. I am malice. You are an inconvenience. Get lost, or you'll find out how Malice deals with inconveniences, humanling. I require aid. I am wounded. What makes you think I care? No, don't answer. I don't care what makes you think that. We could try and kill him. How much health does he have? We can't really tell. I'm going to save, and then we're going to try and kill him. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, now you autosave. Thanks. <laughs> um. With a menacing hiss, the Xeno says grimly, You thought that would be enough to kill me. You watch in detached surprise as drops of something red spray slowly through the air. Is that your blood? The clawed hand that has sliced open your throat leaves behind a crimson trail. Surprise is the last emotion you feel before your consciousness goes dark for good. Alright, so we just die. <laughs> I have to try it. So... Because there, there doesn't seem to be anyone else here or anything else here to interact with. We could talk to Malice's servant again? No, we can only talk to Malice. Help me, I beg of you. You beg. Go ahead. Show me. I like it when they grovel before me. Alright, fine. The Xenos is now staring at you intently, his gaze depraved. 
more. I humbly beg your indulgence. Narrowing his eyes in satisfaction, Malice growls. A little more. I beseech you, O oh mighty Malice, grant me salvation. I am bleeding out, so it, uh... The little strength you had left in your body has run out. You collapse to the floor, and the darkness that nearly extinguished your mind permanently envelops your vision once more. Through the drumbeat of your heart, you hear Malice's voice from somewhere far away. Chuck the human living. These have amused me. Alright, well, we got what we wanted. Sensation slowly returns to you. Your body is still in pain, but you are no longer on the brink of death. Your wounds have been crudely closed with metal clamps, and your throat is pocked with injector tracks. Fantastic. As though you have been wearing a neck pillow of needles. The one who rendered this first aid to you was certainly not a qualified chirurgeon. Someone who would typically be permitted to minister to the person of the illustrious rogue trader. No, but we've fallen on hard times, so... You know, what can you do? Sometimes you gotta rely on snake people for medical help. Probably wasn't him. It's was probably some other sawbones. It looks like you're back with us. I don't know whether to offer you my congratulations or commiserations. The scaled Xenos looks at you without the slightest deference. I owe you. What is your price? Straight to business. I like it. You truly do owe me. But we will discuss that when you are no longer lying on the floor like a scrap of dead meat. Alright, so now he wants to do business. That's good. As you stand up, you are seized by a strange sense of unreality. It is as if you are still there in the wicked darkness and everything around you is merely a twisted mirage. Doubt seems into your mind like a poison, sundering its contact with your body. You have to make a deliberate effort to hold onto the thought that you are you. What? Is your mind, maggot, giving you trouble? I saw it latch onto your spinal cord when you were being patched up. A fat, well-fed grub it was with lots of teeth. It's dying now. They have a short lifespan, and that means its poison is especially toxic. You'll lose... Oh, you'll lose touch with reality from time to time, and when the maggot dies, the final dose of poison will make you think your body is not your body at all, and then your heart will just stop beating. Okay. Mm, cool. It's, uh, it's nice. I could have pulled that thing out of you, of course, but I thought, why should I? Consider it a guarantee of your gratitude towards me. When you've earned your healing, I'll release it. I'll release you from it. Um, who are you? I'm Malice, and the rabble before you, you see, are my shriekers. We are gladiators, the bleeding meat of the Fatal Thirst's combat arena. We are the beasts who go out there to kill and to die in glorious deaths for the entertainment of the Dark City. And this den is our pleasure ground. Why did you decide to help me in the end? Your begging amused me. It was so pathetic and delectable. So, where am I? The snake-like Xenos hisses in satisfaction. Komora. The Dark City, the underside of existence, the realm of the Drukhari. You heard of it, humanling. What do you want from me? Kill for me. Go to the mangled sector and find a freak called the Commissar, one of your kind, and spill his guts for me. Do that and you will earn my favor. And in the chasm, it's for a lot. Who is this Commissar? A prisoner of the Drukhari who thinks too highly of himself. Instead of dying in the arena without any fuss, he is hiding, gathering other slaves of your race around him and making pathetic plans to get his revenge. And many of your kind are listening to him. See how few humanling shriekers there are. They used to all come to me, but now they listen to the Commissar and no longer come. I'm going to need a more serious weapon. Prove that you're useful first. Do this and Malice will see that you have decent toys to play with, but not before. In the meantime, you can pick something out of the junk pile. Malice gestures at the container of half, half full of shoddy equipment. 
The Mangled Sector, that, what an off-putting name. It's an off-putting place. It's the base of the spire in which we live. Kimura is stitched together from scraps of various dimensions, and in the Mangled Spire the seams are starting to rip. Space is collapsing in on itself, and entropic radiation is off the scale, spawning all kinds of abominations, and the sector itself is slowly but surely turning into nothing. Some unhinged humanling went there recently. What did they call him? Wersorian? He was old but strong, and too loud. His visit probably stirred up all the freaks. You should be more careful and quieter than he was. All right. Well, thank you for your help. Actually, that is that is good help. You'd have to be insane to set foot in a place like that. Insane, or an outcast like the commissar hiding from the hunt, or you. Very well. I will kill him. We gotta find Warsarian. Bring me his head. And in exchange, I will share my toys with you. They will make surviving in Gamora possible. Oops, sorry, I just punched my microphone. That may have made a ton of noise. Um, okay, well, there's supposedly a, uh, a trash heap that we can get some weapons out of. About you. So that could be fun. Where might we find that? Oh, hello. We got another one of these here. The tear in the fabric of space is sparking with entropic energy capable of unraveling the threads of matter itself. So that's just contained right there, you know. So there was an item. Indeed. Gladiator's pile. What do we got? A dari long rifle, a great sword, and a heavy stubber. And a bunch of cargo. In this case, I'm keeping everything. No cargo for us. We need all the weapons we can possibly get, because we have absolutely fucking nothing. I should probably grab a melee weapon of some kind, but these these are just really crappy swords. But hey, you know, we'll see. Rise to the top. Like once we find or get left in the dust. A flash of searing pain causes the contents of your skull to burst into flames. Ah, you know, it happens. Happens to me every other day. Spontaneous brain immolation. Alright, Streets of the Chasm. This looks like a fun place. It's back to where we came from. I think it's probably back to where we came from. But I'm not sure how to get to the Mangled Sector. No, I think we came from a different angle, so this might not be the place where we came from. Let's see. Okay, no, this is where the Shriekers are fighting, so... And I don't know if there is a way to get through here, so... Let's check our journal here. Yeah, we gotta get to the Mangled Sector, however we do that. Probably not going to be through there. I probably need to go back and find a different way out. Head back into the pit. My apologies. I might be on the right track now, but I don't know. Dude, how cool would be like a horror game set in Kimura? Oh yeah, well, this is indeed this place right here. This will be that'll bring is there us to money Malice. to be made. Oh, he's actually you have two Cabalite warriors serving you. Interestingly enough, there doesn't appear to be another way out. Hmm. anything else to say? Always yeah. keep your eye on the Let's prize. not ask him too many questions. I don't want to test his patience right now. And no way out through here, huh? No. Okay. I guess we do just need to go out this way. 
into the streets of the chasm. I don't know where the mangled sector is going to be, but I'm sure it'll be somewhere. Let's just uh, have a look and find out. Must wonder if we've already been thrown into the gladiatorial arena. Probably not, right? So we've all been split up. The Archon just threw us down there. Yeah, I wish it didn't do this constantly, unless there's... Okay, we have a trauma. Is this a trauma? I'm not sure. Mind Maggot's Agony. Looks fun. Can we use this on ourselves? I'll make sure to, to remove return perplexed. the favor one day. No, nor does it move fresh injuries, or old injuries. I feel like it should move I always have old a backup injuries plan. as well, but... That's okay. Uh, I wasted one of those. That is unfortunate. So, through here? Oh, it's goods. Did you look at that? Nice. We I'll can learn from this mistake. We can sh I shot a corpse. It no presumably it may have knocked it down somewhere. Go look around. Maybe my options open. shooting this corpse had a reason, or we just shot the corpse because you know what you do in this place. I don't know. Oh, this. Mo oh wow, this is the shoot we came down. <laughs> Fucking hell! All right, uh, that's horrible. More shriekers over here. Another pile of goods. Oh, someone just died. Oh. You got a knife. I'll take that. Shrieker just murdered this beggar. Let us not dawdle. Some more goods here. I guess these are the things that we missed. Ah. Portal to the Anatomical Opera. Fucking great. Lift to the mangled sector. And you guys are... I don't even know. Who knows? Uh, let's take the lift. To the mangled sector. No, now we're going to the anatomical opera. I clicked on the mangled sector. I'm like 100% sure I clicked on the mangled sector. Your sense of unreality rolls in, breaking the connection between you and your body. That's yeah, the worm. Oh, this is the mangled sector. All right, good. Um, yeah, this doesn't look very good. How does the rest of Kimura here look? Uh, like it's just coming undone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, reality ain't looking too hot here. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Okay, like, what is this? Is there an actual cause? Is something happening, or is this just... Failure is just a temporary setback. Well, we didn't reach the safe, unfortunately. With zero... I probably should have waited until we had Abelard to do that, but it's too late now. <laughs> this fucking thing is flying by. Oh, what a lovely place. Some goods here. Oh! No way! Rogue trader! Sister Argenta greets you with a glowing gaze and a confident smile. The god emperor did not forsake his chosen one. I prayed that our paths would cross once more. Argenta gestures at everyone around her. Your arrival is timely indeed. With the Emperor's Chosen on our side, we can come out of hiding and exact vengeance on the enemies of humanity. But I shouldn't take up your time. Speak instead to the Commissar. He's the one who leads these valiant souls. He will tell you everything you need to know. 
What happened to you after we ran into that trap? My memory betrays me. I lost consciousness soon after they dragged us into the shadows. I came to a filthy arena. They had set some clawed beast against me. When I slew it, they sent another. I killed them all, one after another. And then the unseen spectators demanded more and more. At last, I had an opportunity. One of the beasts I fought damaged the enclosure, and I managed to escape the arena. You should have seen how quickly the scum who whooped and cheered from the stands set off after me. I forged a path with a sword and bolter, and wandered for a long time in the darkness. And then I wound up here, where a loyal servant of the Emperor found me and gave me a chance to serve him again. Let's ask her about the Commissar. Who is this Commissar you speak of? Loyal servant of the Emperor, who has not lost the will to fight, even in this impenetrable gagoon. He has mustered a resistance. Everyone who can hold a weapon and refuses to accept the fate of a toy in the clutches of the vile Xenos. The dwellers of these dungeons are a myriad, and most are lacking in soul, courage, or willpower. The Commissar and his associates seek out the true champions of the Imperium, among, the, uh, among them, and prepare those souls for the battle against the Xenos. Uh, so, delusional. Providence itself has brought me here. I assisted the Commissar in his search. In hopes of finding you among the captives, I devoted myself to helping the faithful, yet frail, pluck up their strength and guiding, and guiding the able yet desperate towards hope. My efforts have already borne fruit. Two squads have gone on a scouting mission to discover safe passages out of Komora. Ardenta, look. I appreciate the valor and the spirit. It's good for people, but... There ain't no way out of here. Not without help. And who are these people? I found them. Subjects of the Imperium who were taken to this den of misery and despair, scattered across the vast chasm. They were condemned to suffer for the amusement of enemies of humanity, but the beasts were wrong in thinking we would simply resign ourselves to, to our fate. I share my faith in the future with them. The future that we will claim with his name upon our lips. Will you join me? I have served the resistance for as long as I could. My duty to these people is done. It is high time I rejoined you and pursued my original mission. But first allow me to offer a few final words of guidance to my flock. Argenta turns to her audience, and her voice fills with zealous fire. Servants of the Emperor, children of humanity, be strong in your resolve and pure in your faith, for deliverance is at hand. Steal your hearts, for a great trial lies ahead of us all. But the reward for passing it is freedom. Well, we have Argenta, and you don't have any gear. Okay. Um, I don't think giving her armor is going to matter. I will take armor. She does need a weapon. We'll give her a greatsword as her, uh, as her backup. That could be good for her. We can give her the other Becker's weapon. It's burst, at least. Otherwise, it's... Absolute trash. I like that we're, like, back at level 1 gear. It is kind of fun. Give her a stim there. And, uh, yeah. Actually going to move my healing and trauma kit and my grenade to Argenta. Because she's actually good at using all of these things. Maybe not the Xenos grenade, but... Where might we find this Commissar? These are the misfits. You're the Commissar. You look like a Commissar. Always keep your eye on the prize. A stately man in a Commissar's coat and a tall service cap greets you with the sign of the Aquila and a solemn announcement. Another loyal servant of the throne has found their way to us through these confounded catacombs. Fear not. Approach. If you have faith in the Emperor, then you will find only allies here. I'll make the Quilla, the Aquila. The Emperor protects. Indeed, the Emperor protects. The Commissar's imperious, booming voice repeats your call and the rest follow suit. Let's look at him. One might think that the archetypical Commissars from the Imperial Guard propaganda posters are life drawings of this man. He has a large and powerful jaw, his eyes are hard and featureless, and a small scar covers it. Uh, over his brow adds a certain rugged charm to his features. 
His coat, though worn, has been diligently cleaned and mended, and the skull on his tall cap has been polished to a shine. Who are you? The man replies with clipped precision. Commissar Iako Sotny. But my brothers and sisters in arms prefer to call me simply the Commissar. I was assigned to a regiment or to a regiment of the Vicentian Zouaves, and I fought in the battle for the world of Kemalt Secundus, where I was wounded and taken prisoner while unconscious. Having recovered from my wounds, I carry on fighting the wicked Xenos at the head of the local resistance cell, which I founded. The Commissar's speech is vehement and decisive. My valorous comrades and I sabotage the enemy's activities while we divine our plan of escape. Yeah, I am suspicious of him, but I'm not going to, uh, reveal this just yet. Keep up the good work, Commissar Sutney. Will do. We stand for the Imperium. The Commissar turns his burning gaze to his fighters, and they erupt in a roar of battle cries. What does your resistance do? The Commissar observes his humble army, and says with enthusiasm, our first ongoing objective is to keep bolstering our ranks by seeking out prisoners who haven't yet lost faith and willingness to oppose our nefarious jailers. Our second priority is to arm ourselves and train. I teach my soldiers the basics of guard tactics in order to mold them into a fully-fledged assault unit. More importantly, we gather information and plot our escape, and the day we pave the road to freedom with the corpses of the detestable Xenos is nigh. The Commissar's rallying shout makes his people square their shoulders, proudly straighten their backs, and respond with a fierce war cry. What were the circumstances of your capture? We engaged the enemy on the world of Kemalt Secundus, in the Marcane marches of the Calixus sector. The loathsome foes of humanity were known to launch raids in the area, and so we received orders to defend the good subjects of the Imperium. When the profaners descended upon us, we gave them no quarter. The enemy was routed, and my unit drove them back to their ships. Our counterattack drove a wedge into their advancing horde and thwarted their invasion, but it also meant that we were cut off on both flanks and surrounded. We fought valiantly for several hours to stop the enemy ranks from reforming for a new onslaught until we depleted our munition reserves. By that time, our superior officers had already fallen, so I led my people in a bayonet charge. We taught the Xenos a lesson in blood, and then I have no memory of how the battle ended. I came to consciousness in this foul place, disarmed and on the verge of death. I thought I'd die, but it was not yet time for the Emperor to release me from his service. I require medical assistance. You do not look too badly injured, and we are suffering from a severe shortage of medical supplies. Better to save what we have for critical situations. I don't think his medical supplies can help me. And that presents a problem. The Slith might actually be able to help me. I have my doubts. Um, which means I would need to kill the Commissar for a better chance at better medical equipment. Or I can gamble on maybe getting medical equipment or, you know, the the, the brain thing removed by someone else. I'm going to be honest with him, especially since Argenta is here. Malice sent me here for your head. However, I have no desire to cause you harm. Commissar lets out a contemptuous laugh and then nods approvingly at you. That scaled miscreant has long since wanted me dead. He craves my soldiers. He forced us from our base to this perilous place, but he will pay for his scheme soon once my plan is set into motion. It is a disgrace to serve one such as he. You ought to join our ranks instead. Together, we will break out of this accursed city. What is your escape plan? Some of our own have captured a small Xeno ship that was moored for repairs at a remote, unused dock. They eliminated the crew quietly, but left the pilot alive to sail the ship back to real space. We can get to the dock through a dimensional portal located at our old base. Okay, so you actually have a plan. The problem is... Is Komora traps you in more ways than just physically. It is very aware, very possible that the Drukari are aware of this and have set all of this up to just lead him in circles because they enjoy watching us suffer. The fact that he's still alive means... something. If he was an actual threat to them, they would have dealt with him. Someone would have dealt with him. There is, of course, the possibility of, you know, the Drukari are so busy scheming against each other that maybe they haven't noticed him. 
or have just had bigger fish, but I don't know. It seems unlikely. I'm suspicious of all of this. Maybe not his intentions. He might be actually thinking he's doing the right thing and thinking he's onto something, but I am overall suspicious of this situation. Was it Sergeant Vegastus's squad that was tasked with capturing the ship? Did he survive? The Emperor protected him, and he did not fail the Emperor. Vegastus is in good health and waiting for us to arrive. Regrettably, Malice and his shriekers drove us out and took over the base, so the first order of business will be to confront him there. I propose that you take him by surprise and deliver the first strike. We will support the attack from the outside. Do that. Logic test failed. The Commissar's plan is bold, and the odds of it succeeding are bleak. However, it seems improbable that anyone in Komora is prepared for such a decisive covert action from the city's prisoners, so the Commissar and his people have the element of surprise on their side. Hmm. Kinda wish we'd have passed that right there. Who are the people under your command? The core of my unit is composed of prisoners from various Astra Militarum regiments and a number of planetary guards. They formed the assault squad that went on the, specimen, or on the special operation under Sergeant Vegastus' command. The rest are common people who had the misfortune of being captured by Xenos. Serfs, nobility, administratum clerks, technomaths, and void workers, monks, anyone who found the courage to take up arms. The only kinds you won't find here are heretics, lawbreakers, and cowards. Trust me, Cyrene von Valencius, these people can be relied upon. In their darkest hour, they found a source of resolve and faith, and each of them is ready to give their life for their righteous cause. And they already have. Yeah, her enthusiasm is entirely based upon desperation. She's kind of deluding herself, I think. How have you accomplished so much? Every morsel of intelligence we have acquired and every step of progress we have made was paid for in blood and pay. Information about the dying cabal that, that dreads entering the docks of its enemies and instead moors in an abandoned area was forced out of captive Xenos. The knowledge of the portal was brought in exchange for one half of the weapons we had stockpiled, and taking that ship cost us several lives, each of which was worth more than this whole blasted city. I shall join you. The Commissar laughs and exclaims approvingly, My brothers and sisters in arms, a new fighter has joined our ranks. The Emperor's grace is with us. Yeah, regardless, I'd rather join him than Malice. I have other business to attend to. Farewell and keep the faith. The Emperor protects, sister. They've made an Aquila, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's... Keep your wits about you. It's pretty cool. Alright, what do we have here? We can do a demolition, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have the, uh, the bomb kit that we had. Because I didn't find that after having loaded the saved. Okay. So. I think this is just looking out over the, uh, this void. Is there money to be made? Can we go any further? Oh, it's a dead Xenos. I won't let it define me. The Xenos has ornate clothes and solid looking armor, or caked in his boiled insides. Hmm, sucks to be him, I guess. Probably shouldn't have boiled your insides. The otherworldly shimmer of nothingness promises peace and quiet. Yeah. That's that's true. What do we got here? Some stuff. Athletic 60%. Well, don't fuck up. Never doubt me. Katharina. Oh, it's Abelard. What did he say? Katharina, where are you? I have lost you. I have lost you all. You barely recognize your loyal Seneschal. Abelard Wersarian is this pitiful hunchback figure. Or in this pitiful hunchback figure. His officer's bearing, his broad shoulders, his direct and piercing gaze, all gone without a trace. What you see before you is a decrepit, quivering old man rummaging through malodorous refuge and mumbling under his breath. It takes you a second to re to make sense of his hoarse lisp. Katharina, my love, white amasac and fruits. Of course, love, the children are making mischief again. Katharina, where are you? 
The old man's frail voice is laden with tenderness and longing. Let's snap him out of it. Seneschal, this is your Lord Captain speaking. Oh, Katharina. Abelard laughs faintly and immediately launches into a bout of coughing. Deep lines run across his face and a blurry film of cataracts clouds his eyes. The drive stems are at it again. Yet another council session. Another appeal to the Logitiums. And they will never be satisfied, love, until they make us and our children disappear. Perhaps we should just give in. You always say that Dark Onus is not your home, love. Abelard is looking past you at someone only he can see. There's a timid smile on his trembling lips. Would you like that, love? Would you rather leave? Leave it all behind. Go somewhere far away. Away from our toils. With shaking hands, Abelard is still sifting through refuse, oblivious to you. Gatharina. Yes, it's almost time. Call the children. We can do coercion, or we can do our dogmatic adherent. Beneschal! Or, no, there's another couple of options here. We can do, uh, we could stimulate him. Perhaps we go dogmatic. Seneschal, the Addendum Perfectum Militarum to the Tactica Imperium states that an army officer of the Imperium who submits to third-degree Xeno influence or higher is considered a traitor and a heretic. I will have no heretics under my command, Seneschal. I order you to conquer this illusion at once. Get to it, officer. Abelard flinches. His brow furrows and a glow lights up in his watery eyes. A heretic? I recommended... I recommend that you brush up on your regulations before accusing an officer. The addendum prima merandum abolishes the Xeno influence categorization and therefore... His vision somewhat cleared. Abelard looks at you and takes a shuddering breath. Saints blood! Lord Captain, you're alive! With a groan, Abelard tries to straighten his hunched back. Thank the God Emperor. Death has not found you yet. And again, given the circumstances. Maybe for the worst. What happened to you? Abelard is racked by an old man's hacking cough. That Christ blasted Zeno simply chucked me aside like a piece of rubbish. I went to look for you, or for help, and I ended up here. This is where it found me, that thing. Memory fails me. All I can remember is bits and pieces and needles. It pumped something out of me, and it pumped something in. Yeah. Malice, huh? I'm assuming malice. I seem to be in one piece, except that creature. Abelard tries to wipe his stained coat with a trembling hand. How should I put this? Its needles siphon the strength out of me. I feel older by a good decade or two. He touches his face and exclaims in surprise. My word, I think I am older. That could be why I started seeing things. I never thought I'd live long enough to go senile. <laughs> what was the thing that attacked you? He shudders. Spawn of nightmares. So ghastly, my mind refuses to picture a clear image of it. Nothing but meat, metal, and many, many needles. Oh! Worse than a slith. It feasted on me. It feasted on my very soul. It would have devoured me whole if it hadn't gorged itself on another before me. Talos Pain Engine. Or a Kronos Mind Parasite. That's also possible. We'll find a way to restore your time to you, Seneschal. Oh, I asked, uh, who is Katharina? <laughs> who is Katharina? Abelard gives you a tense, embarrassed look. My late wife, Lord Captain, I think. In the time I wandered around here, my sanity may have suffered a temporary lapse, I hope. It appears my mind can no longer stomach the kind of horrors this place has to offer. I saw her by my side. I saw a different time, a different place. We will find a way to restore your time to you, Seneschal. Pray, Lord Captain. There will be enough strength in this body yet. Your Seneschal will not be so easily broken by some. He groans and clutches his side. I could just use a brief respite. Do you know where the others are? I have not the faintest idea, Your Ladyship. All I can say is, if I manage to survive down here, then others stand a chance too. There are no weaklings in your retinue. I, for one, have had enough of this heap of filth. It is time to move, Abelard. I could not agree more, Lord Captain. I serve House von Valancius. Abelard salutes you with a shaking hand, and a ghost of his, uh, of his usual stern expression returns to his wrinkled face. Alright, we got Abelard back. He is suffering stolen time. 
So we're going to need to fix that somehow. I am suffering, I think, the worst here. I'm still perplexed. I got that from uh, failing to investigate something, I think. Looking at the revolting puddle of Ikor that reeks of suffering, you can barely make out what remains of the bones of some unfortunate soul that appear to have been digested and regurgitated. Okay, sounds like a Talos paint engine. So, if we have to deal with one of those uh, in our current state, uh, I guess I guess that's that. <laughs> As indicated by the bloody trail, a body was recently dragged through here. I always have a backup plan. Mm, let's not. That was 0%. Oh, yeah, let's also grab Avalard. And we can athletics our way over. Thankfully, Abelard can... Experience? Uh, Nothing matters more. Help out there. We can head up here. I think we... Did we already go up here? Is there anything else? There is some... There's a beggar here. Oh, dead beggar. Yeah, he ain't looking too good. Let's give Abelard a weapon. I am going to give him one of the, uh, the fancy Laz pistols. Do I have both of them? No. No, uh, Argenta has one. Okay. Uh, I will give... I'm going to give Abelard the great sword, actually. Because Argenta has a sword and a pistol, that's going to be just fine. I'm going to give Abelard the great sword. Give him some actual damage potential, and we're going to give him the scrap chain mail. Alright, uh, and we'll give him a shotgun as his backup. Sounds good to me. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Yeah. Is there anything else? There is some loot over there we apparently missed. Uh, we can demolish our way through this. I don't have a melted charge, though, so that ain't gonna happen. Comstar's there. The, there's another dead beggar right here. And then there's this loot up here. But I think we have to demolish our way to that. No, that was the Xenos loot. Okay, so then it's just whatever is going on right here. It's a dead guy somewhere? Right here. Let's loot him. Another knife. Well, fantastic. And then we'll head back to the uh, the streets of the chasm. And uh, shall we go to the anatomical gallery? I think we should go to the anatomical gallery. Also, we need to take out uh, Malice, but I want to get some extra help. Maybe we'll find somebody in the anatomical gallery. Or maybe it'll be horrible, and we'll just die. You never know in this place. What did I just see? That was sure weird. Compared to naval service, the victim was that killed. Was barely a challenge. The victim was killed by a series of precise cuts in the vulnerable spots. Uh, the throat, the eyes, and the tendons. The killer must have been aiming to swing the outcome of the fight with the, with the first few blows. Yeah, and what did we just see? Like, that was... Frightening. Right, uh, anyways, we can leave. That's back to the pit. We don't want to go there. So, uh, let's head to the Anatomical Opera and... Save, because I don't trust anything anymore. Right. In here we go. And it's our original party again. It's like starting the game over in a way. I kind of like it when games do this, when they just like, they completely knock down the playing field. Okay, so we have Drukari here, and they don't seem to be bothering us, which is unusual. Tech use, 20%. I think I'll wait until we have somebody that can do tech use. Tech use, 20% there too. It's not very good. Cavalite Ranger, Cutthroat, Drukari. Yeah, they... No. Flash of Searing Pain. No, we don't need to look at this again. Oh, very nice. Emily. Resistance fighters that have just been slaughtered. But hey, we get flak armor and Civitas pattern auto guns. Which I'm gonna give Argenta one. Oh, damn it. They went to the fucking. Oh, man. Alright, well, they're gone because I can't access my cargo. Right? Pretty sure I can't access my cargo. Okay, well, let's make sure we don't do that again. Um, Uh-oh. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. That's a rack. They're one of the horrific experiments of the homunculi. Always keep your eye on the prize. 
What do you have to say? Not this way, meat. And we have people hooked up to things. I'm sure they're having a jolly old time. Thought that was early at for a second. It's just a cutthroat Drakari. I bet we can find someone over here. Lots of Drakari here, but again, they seem to just be letting us go about. I really wish it would stop doing this, because there doesn't actually seem to be anything... here. Oh, we could loot that. We would be able to get there somehow, but yeah, I don't want to risk Keep this with only 20% chance of success on the tech use. Once again, sister, you say you managed to escape the prison the Xenos had put you in? Yes. At least, I thought I had. Then I realized that I had swapped a small cage for a larger one, and I had to find my way out of it. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. These Drukari are uh, a little different. These look like civilians. Let us not dawdle. Portal to the arena. All right. So we can go to the arena already, but let's not do that. I'd rather go into the anatomical theater first. I'm sure it's gonna be just loads of fun. Okay, I can't see shit. But there's also not really anything to see here, so... Right, back up here we go. Oh, there was loot. Oh, this is from the pit, interestingly. This is... Huh. Okay, well, let's, let's head up back up here. And find our way into the anatomical opera. He might not let us in. Guess he's not going to let us in. Okay, so I think what we need to do is actually go back to the pit and confront Malice. I think we got to take him out. Or perhaps we can even negotiate with him further. I just... I don't have a good feeling about fighting him with only Argenta and Abelard. <laughs> in this state. Why are they so much slower? Like, if we have to fight all of these guys, it is going to be fucking rough. I don't, I don't even think we could do it. Always keep your eye on the prize. Humanly, relax with us. Take a stimulant and enjoy yourself. Um, okay, so we can ask him some questions. Tell me about your kind. Slip. My kind were a greedy people. We always wanted more, and that's why we were rapacious and indomitable. Nothing could sate our growing appetite. We could have conquered half the universe if we'd needed to. The bonds that held us together fell away, replaced by more beneficial and attractive alliances, and my kind scattered. Some call it the fall of our civilization, but they did not understand the realization we had come to. That no one needs other people. All you need is yourself. Yeah. Okay. Or do we go... I I'm gonna... Before I kill him... I'm just going to read the quest log. Troubling developments here. Find a way to escape Kimura. So.
Kill Malice. Yeah, so we have to kill Malice. Alright. The Commissar says hello. The two humanlings have plotted against me. How predictable. Freaker has killed a humanling slowly. I want to enjoy her torment. I will wipe your disgusting presence out of existence! 418 health. Oh my. Uh, let's put Abelard. Oh god. I, I don't know. Where do we want Abelard? I think we want Abelard to fight these two Cabalites. We have no, like, we have no chance without our weapons. Like, for real. The enemy isn't really close to, close enough to each other to pick on properly, so... Alright, we're gonna give, um... I'll make it happen. Forewarning to Argenta. Let's drop a front line right here. If not me. Back line is dodge reduction or a range attack, right? Yeah, extra range attack. There we go. It's as good as done. And we'll put the, uh, the front line right there. And we're gonna hold this area for dear life. <laughs> I'll make it give Argenta a turn. I should also, uh, if not me. press against myself, and then I'm going to give Argenta it's a turn. As good as done. Okay, what can you do, Argenta? We could throw a grenade at it, but that's going to do nothing. We could shoot it. Let's let's give confident approach. Like, I, I don't think we can do as anything the here. This is why I was chosen. It's, it's damage. <laughs> is it a lot of damage? Not really. <laughs> Maybe we can light him on fire. Make it happen. All right. Move back here. Maybe I should move up so that Argenta at least can shoot without being stuck in combat. Maybe that's a good idea. Here we go. There's a lot of these shriekers. A temporary setback. Okay. I faced worse than this. Oh boy. Out of my way. Okay, there's three of them there. Argenta can now chop them down because they're in a nice little group. Uh, just a okay. minor setback. I don't like that. All right, uh, Argenta's turn. So if you were to go right here and then I'll do it. That was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the other thing, but okay. And shoot down line right here. <laughs> Good. It's one dead. Wildfire that. Faith without this is why I was chosen. Fortunately, she's only able to do two shots at a time. I'll do it. Okay, we're gonna go run and gun here. And uh, yeah, that's all you have. We could throw a grenade. It's gonna hit Doubt is for enough the weak. targets to be worthwhile, I think. Okay, one more dead. And then you can shoot again. Right, she can do that. <laughs> you know what? Dash back. As the Emperor commands, and put this into the I slip. Act. I'd really actually like Faith to not shoot Cyrene, so worthless. let's do it this way. Oh, and then I can't, huh? Oh, that's unfortunate. As the Emperor commands, I act. So, I was deprived of my last Let's shot there. Get to it. Oh, of course, because it's a, oh, I can only do burst fire, so it's two action points. Yourself, Abelard. Okay, Abelard, you're supposed my to be able to tank, done. although you are fighting Drakari, so... Alright, it's Abelard's turn. Um, yikes. Um, brace for impact, for sure. It's time for that. I drill back do an cool. endure. Cautious Indeed. approach. Cleave can do a bit of work. Let's declare this guy as our sworn court. enemy. Victory is imminent. <laughs> okay. Gray hair, sure have. We could charge the slith, actually. We I could do, do that. I would provoke double attack of opportunity. So I'm going to use devastating attack. And actually, just kick one of these uh, Drakari. <laughs> All right. 
That's my turn again. I'm gonna give Abelard for warning. Could light one of these Drukari up. Let's light the one up that's on the ground. I provoke an attack of opportunity from doing that. That's not good. Okay, uh, that is not good at all. Then we're gonna give Abelard a turn. So that he can hopefully take out one of these. That one's, I think, gonna die on their own. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's just gonna be a basic attack. Indeed. My revenge will be, it will be done. And endure. I don't know if we got this, guys. I have that feeling. Here we go. Oh. At least they're doing some friendly fire. Time to read okay, I am down. Let the true master <laughs> in another enemy to down. Uh, I can't uh. Buried. Uh. Okay, we need to make sure. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous Avalon stays up, so we're gonna... This isn't gonna do it, is it? Shit. It's the slith that's the problem. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Ain't looking particularly good. I got nothing else I can do. Hold on. Alright, well, you have a good opportunity to do some cleaving, so we'll do a devastating strike right here, because I think this is going to be good. Oh, yeah. Anybody can be our sworn enemy? You're still our sworn enemy. It will be done. Or you, you will be our sworn enemy again, so let's uh, let's give him the chop-chop here. Indeed. Oh, yeah. That was, that was something. We could charge the slith, that would provoke a lot of attacks of opportunity, so maybe let's not do that. You have a shotgun, actually. I don't think you can use it now, though. Anybody we can kick and just kill? It will be done. We'll at least kick him. Then I'm gonna taunt them all. At your beck and call. I think I accidentally didn't taunt the one that's on us, which is unfortunate. Hello. Aha! I knew it. Okay, right. Of course, they were gonna let's come in. Let's quick. I just hope we live till then. Injury is not an excuse to this isn't good. Avalard is still alive. Let's get to it. He's still alive. All he's got to do is survive. Not my worst go. day. Oh, this isn't good. Yet. He's still going. He's still going. Oh my. This ain't looking good. Where's the best place to cleave? We could take out almost two of them here. If we want to endure. You Indeed. are sworn enemy. Either way, you go down. I will do my duty. Ugh, an exemplary okay. strike. Then we can at least take out this guy. At your back. <laughs> Kicked him to death. And we can pray. Let's get to it. Here they come. Out of my way. Weapon at the ready. I hope this is at least gonna draw the true master and flip some attention. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. We're surviving. <laughs> Come on, Commissar. 
Rumble Iron, what a champ. He's taking he's taking damage over time, but what can you do? Victory is imminent. We've got to take this one out. Indeed. Oh no. Kicker. At your beck and call. You yeah, there you go. Two damage. My I will do my duty. Can we just get out of here? Charge somebody else somewhere else? Get into cover? I don't know. I, I don't think so. Provoking an attack of opportunity could be the end of us. Alright, so they're getting in close combat against the Shriekers. Okay, doing a bit of damage. Alright. Let's make it quick. Let's get to it. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> let's get into it. All right, he's trying to run. Oh, Take an attack wife. of opportunity. Somehow, Abelard is still alive. <laughs> I feel like this has happened before. Several times. Okay, Commissar, I expect more from you. I'll revert okay. to more conservative tactics. Yeah, he's almost dead. He's at least got some temporary hit points, and this Catalyte Warrior's really got to go. Um, it will be done. Yeah, he's looking pretty pretty rough here. Indeed. All right, she's dead. That's a chance. Can I move? I can't move. Yeah, that's right. Kick. Yeah, kicked Malice. And we'll drop another Endure, give some more temporary hit points. Is he, like, only alive because of temporary hit points? Oh, done. Too stubborn to die. <laughs> we will see. I can still go down, but I, I don't know if the battle then continues. Make it quick. And if our allies win, in which case, I think we might have a chance. All right, Zealous Thug, good job. Commissar needs to take on uh, the Slits here. Get to it. Nice. All right. We're at least clearing out these Shriekers. <laughs> he's, he's still going. All right. As long as Abelard keeps going, we're, we're doing okay. <laughs> All right. I think that actually hit the Slith. I'm not sure, though. Not my worst day. Yeah. yeah I, it's lost a lot of health. <laughs> not your it's worst day yet. Done. I fail to see how that's possible. We did use that on the Slith, right? Yeah, Sworn Enemy. Good. Good. Be devastating attack. Yeah. At your beck and call. Yeah, we do it. Let's go. All Victory of the damage we can get. Well, yeah, 40 damage, baby. All right. Kick him again. Oh, yeah. Ending. We're not out of this yet. Here we go. Yeah, run on in there. We need to. Let's get to it. Okay, they're doing a bit of work. Yes. <laughs> He's parried everything. Twenty damage. No, I'll revert to more conservative tactics. At your back and call. Okay, devastating attack. Single attack. Come on, Abelard. You can do it, actually, uh... Sworn enemy first. Then we it chop him. Gray hair, 40 damage. Hair. Kick him. At your beck and call. Oh, I wanted the kick to finish it off. Out of my way. Get him. Yes! Oh my god, that was close. <laughs> no, what's happening? I don't like this. Okay. The Commissar's resolve is palpable. Victory, comrades! Duty beckons! Our allies are waiting on the other side of this strange rift, so let us not waste time. He's holding a strange Xeno device. The Commissar points it at the rift, presses a few buttons, and the rolling entropic energies die down, forming a stable portal. What exactly awaits us on the other side? Loyal comrades in a stolen escort ship with its pilot taken hostage. I will take us back to real space, where, Emperor willing, we will send out a distress, a distress call and be saved. By his grace, may this turn out to be true. Are you coming with us? I will bring up the rear and make sure no one falls behind. 
You will lead the charge. Act as a shining example of duty and valor. I don't trust this. Onward! The commissar raises his voice and shouts triumphantly. The emperor is watching. Let us not falter under his gaze. I don't entirely trust this. I have a bad feeling about this. Let's see here. Some, some more uh, stuff here. We're taking all of this. I don't think we need all of it, but I'm going to take it all. All right, let's uh, do something with our armaments here. So we got we got plenty of armaments. So I might just give Argenta the sniper rifle as well. Like I mean, she can or no, I'm gonna give her a fucking shotgun or the tr trophy last gun. There we go. All right, now we're talking. So scrap chainmail, a Xeno mesh here could be better. Um, I'm gonna give that to Abelard. Actually, he can wear the heavy armor, so I'm gonna give him the heavy leather. That looks shitty. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take the, uh, the sniper rifle, and I'm currently wearing chainmail. I can wear the Xeno mesh then, so I have crap agility anyways. So might as well wear that instead. This is all just oh, this is scrap chainmail. This is regular chainmail. Throw this in cargo. Um, have a gift from beyond. I'm going to take a melee weapon. With sword. Argenta, you have what you need? I think so. You have the trophy last gun with burst fire. And a single shot option is going to be nice. Abelard having a shotgun I think is good. We could give him a uh, melee weapon and something else. But these melee weapons suck. I wish he had... <laughs> right now, I wish he had Drakari weapon proficiency. But that seems unlucky. Heavy greatsword. All right. All right, let's throw this into cargo. Okay, we're making some progress. What's the time on this episode? Uh, let's see where this escape attempt leads. I have a really bad feeling about this. I am damn near positive this is a trap. Oh, I always have the, a backup plan. the shrieker. Plan. Some more Xenomass and another one of these trophy last guns. That's gonna be good in case we find another party member. But like, are we leaving people behind? We can head out into the streets of the chasm, but like... I guess this is all we need to do here. I don't think we should go into the arena. Let's, let's get in here. I have a feeling we're not done here yet at all, and that we're going to end up in the arena anyways. Wait, we're in the arena now. <laughs> it's loading up the arena. We got that. Yeah, they were aware, and they, they, they rigged the portal to just teleport us into the arena. Like, like I said, they're just playing mind games with us. That's all this is. I don't think the commissar is, uh, is, uh, in on it, but he was definitely led astray. Uh-oh. The moment you cross the portal, you realize that something is amiss. The thousands of Drakari all around you, the towering bulk of abnormally bloated muscle whose face is hidden behind a black mask, none of it fits the Commissar's description of a quiet dock. Rage of the Arena. Ah, okay, I guess he was in on it. You have brought good meat. You have done well, Commissar. That's the the rack here. I think it's a homunculus, actually. I'm not sure. Damn it. Examine the monster. Hulk's body is a crisscross, or is crisscrossed by thick, ugly scars as if someone stitched it together from different pieces. Its huge muscles are disproportionately swollen and ridden... Riddled with peculiar wire-like augmetics running under its skin, its backbone has been stripped of flesh and is encased in the steely grip of a spinal transplant, and its face is hidden by a black helmet. It's either a, I think it's just a rack. Or maybe an akathist, which are the, like, leaders of the racks. The Commissar has turned out to be yet another traitor. I believe I am starting to see how this game is played. It's all right. You won't be gullible next time. Oh, wait. 
There won't be a next time. The Commissar makes no effort to conceal the sarcastic mockery in his voice. Farewell, comrades. Deceiving, manipulating, and nudging you towards your death has been an honor and a pleasure. The Commissar jumps into the closing portal before anyone gets a chance to stop him. Alright. Satisfied cackling booms from behind the monster's black mask. Foolish meats. Balls for the same trick every time. Here is what happens to you now. They are about to unleash fighters and beasts that will seek to eviscerate you, so try to survive until the end of the fight, meat. No one is expecting more from you. But should you kill something after all, do it painfully. Unless the Master's craving for death agony is sated, they will release me into the arena, and you will regret it. Got it? Yeah, we're not getting... we're not making a deal with him. Uh, <laughs> I'm no gladiator, I'm a dignitary! <laughs> I love that you can just be pathetic. <laughs> We're not receiving anything. We know what place this is. We can't make a deal with him. I'm not a sadistic person. We could try and take him out. I don't know if that's gonna go over all that well, though. <laughs> we barely beat the Slith. And there's a lot of Drukari here. I think we're, we're, we're forced into the arena. This abomination says that our deaths... that our death is certain, but even in death there is a choice. To be butchered like cattle or to die for the Imperium. Do not let the Xenos decide your fate. May you leave this life with the Emperor's name on your lips. With a roar, some of the fighters make the sign of the Aquila and ready their grenades. Their pale fingers clutch the pins as they steel themselves for a fight to the inevitable death, intent on taking as many enemies of humanity with them as they can. Pretty words. I hope your death will be pretty enough to match them. Off with you, meat. Rejoice, spire dwellers, for I have come to slake your fatal thirst. May the vicious hunt commence today. So they basically get to watch My from up there. My wild hounds will enter the arena uh -oh. to taste the blood of its wretched challengers. Bathe your souls in their suffering. Make your guesses at whether the prey can overpower the predators. If you're looking for more refined entertainment, watch the ousted dragon mm. of the Reaving Tempest fight for his life against the glorious champions of the arena, the Bloodstained Proselytes! So, Marazai will be uh, fighting against uh, some foes. If your soul is so hardened that only the triumph Ooh. of violence can soften its scars, That's... enjoy the massacre of the fearsome flesh gorger. Today, we will try to kill him again. Okay, there's an Astartes. That might be the Space Wolf. The wolf on the chain that we heard about at the very beginning of the game. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a fucking Astartes, and that is a space wolf, and you poor fucks don't have a chance. <laughs> and that's a Talos pain engine, oh lord. Oh my god. <laughs> well, today. How's, how's Marazai doing? Is that all? Will you just give me your pet jesters? Don't be offended if I break your playthings, Kikeros! So what are you fighting? Are we all fighting? 
Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Let the fatal thirst be quenched! Oh, man. And that's us. Oh, they just detonated themselves. Oh, I, I feel kind of bad. I can't see what's going on. I uh, th These cutscenes need some work. Sorry. But... Who are you? I'll make an example out of you! I will level you! The world suddenly loses strength and certainty. Everything around you looks like a decoration and a sham. Horror constricts your chest. That's not good. The sounds join in a terrible loop of self-repetition, mixing with the grinding sound, becoming high and sharp like the teeth of a chain sword and the tearing at your eardrums. It's the worm dying, I think. Okay. So what do we have here? Captive soldiers that we have to fight. And where... Okay, we're not in the same arena as, uh, Marazai. <laughs> Jeez, this is brutal. Is <laughs> so it just us three, huh? I'm not looking too good. I'm definitely gonna need some medical attention. Abelard also, but not immediately, at the very least. So, let's give Who Abelard forewarning. Because if anyone can survive this, it's gonna be him. We're gonna immediately put a uh, I'll see front line right I'll there. See. I'm gonna drop a back line for extra. Sorry, a rear for extra range attack. Although I don't think I can because my gut tells me it's a bad idea. Uh, game, it's why? As good as done. All right, we'll put it there, I guess. And then we can let Argenta go, or we let Abelard go. I think I'll I'm just gonna let Abelard go. I'll, I'll give myself a, uh, a prescience. First off. And we can light one of these guys up while we're at it. Ah. Oh, shit. I am out of action points. I did not think this through. Cripes! Well, so it is. Alright. Argenta, you can go right on over Rejoice here. In battle. We have a las gun. So you could shoot down that way. Let's first drop a confident approach, though. So we have to kill these captive soldiers first, huh? As the Emperor Most unfortunate. Commands, I act. For you, my Emperor. Doubt is Wildfire. The I'll do it. None can escape the Emperor's judgment. Nice. They're dead. And we can As run and gun. Commands, I act. And just stay right here. And then I can put a single shot through this guy. Or through... Is there any more? No. I'm gonna... I'll do it. Shoot that one instead. As the Emperor we'll run commands, over here I act. Hold on. Let's make it quick. All right, you're gonna engage Abelard. Your loss. Speaking of, I will do my duty. Cautious approach. Um, it's a chance. This is just it gonna kill him. One fewer target. One fewer target, indeed. And we can charge this guy. Oh, he lived. Kick him. Indeed. I took care of this one. Right. Have you enjoyed it? Are you surprised the fallen Dracon has defeated the best warriors of the arena? The cult appreciates it. Marazai Aziresh has been granted the right to join the bloodstained proselytes, our circle of champions. Okay. So Marazai won his fight. And, uh, 
Did any of you expect to see a monkey challenger survive the vicious hunt? Do you savor the sight of the flesh gorger devouring his mangled enemies? Is your fatal thirst quenched? So, the Astartes is eating the Talos paint engine. Always a good sign. For a space bolt. <sighs> Yes, it is quenched. Is it really? Wow. No, well, let's loot the dead bodies. Uh, lots of stuff for us here. Random leather armor we don't really need. I think we can send the scrap chainmail back into cargo. I'll keep the Xeno mesh because that's actually kind of good. Regular Laz pistols can go to cargo. This is a presumably Ripper. It's got a rate of fire of 8. That's not too bad. I'm going to grab one. And the heavy greatsword? I'll take another. I'll take both of them, even. We'll throw this away. And uh, always add to cargo with these. And I will take the Xeno Mesh. And we can get rid of the uh, regular old chain mail. Okay. Uh, so we got the Ripper here. We've got a trophy Laz gun, shotgun. Two crappy Laz pistols can go there. Crappy axe. That thing's okay, so I'll hold on to it. And I'm gonna hold on to the rest. All right. So how are we doing? We're doing okay. I'm not sure what happened here. These guys. Oh, the uh, the suicide. Uh, our, our guys took them out. That's really cool, actually. But now what happens? We leave. We go up here. We fight Marazai? No. <laughs> What's in these pots? I, I don't know. Let us not dawdle. Exactly what we're supposed to do here. I guess we can go up here. Yeah, there's stuff up here. Oh, this looks nice. Here we are again. You follow Argenta's gaze to the soaring Drukari craft. And the squirming bodies nailed to its side. That's... that's Sergeant Vigastas. I recognize him. I know his voice. Cyrene von Valencius, help me. We have to save these people from this torture. Uh, one of the Drukari on board sneers upon hearing Argenta's shouts, eliciting a wave of approving cheers. The Drukari kicks one of the groaning bodies, blatantly savoring his untouchability. Impossible. Abelard shakes his head, looking at the prisoners. We could... yeah, we could take him out. No, we could have gone even further if, if we had Iconoclast Votary. I'm going to shoot the figure that Argenta pointed out. I no, shot him right in the knee. A shot rings out and the figure pinned to the side of the ship flinches and stills. Argenta freezes, then turns to face you. Her eyes are brimming with rage, astonishment, and unending sorrow. Her face momentarily twists into a grimace, but then she drops her head and begins whispering words of prayer. We, we, we did it for him. I'm not doing this because I'm Keep a sadist, but you. his suffering is over. <laughs> God. <laughs> Prisoner appears dead until you notice his eyes. Which are filled with pain and following your every move. Begging you, finish me. A ship is supposed to be waiting. A ship? Commissar. Traitor. Yeah. Let's head back to the chasm. I don't think we're gonna get out of here. Oh, the inventory. Some long lads? Yeah, I'll, I'll take two of them. And throw the rest into cargo. I don't even know where these came from, but... Auto pistol. We have a knife. And then just some more crappy chain mail. Uh, serrated mono knife I'll hold on to. Uh, collect all, yeah. Except. That was weird. I, I hope this is what we're supposed to do. I just don't know what else is supposed to happen. Somehow we were able to flee. Maybe we can find this commissar. We probably should have helped Malice, but... You know, I'd rather try and do the right thing and then be betrayed than... Do the 
wrong thing because I'm cynical. Oh, hi. The stranger standing before you brings him to mind a motley-colored, long-limbed doll abandoned amid carnage and detritus. And bright colors of his sleek costume seem comical against the unremitting gloom and hostility of this place. Only the sorrowful horned mask that hides his face and the dark hooded cloak he wears pay tribute to the overwhelming air of hopelessness. Every move the Xenos makes sings with theatrical precision and a predator's grace. You cannot decide if this person is an accomplished dancer or a master assassin. The answer to that question is yes. <laughs> You've never heard of such Xenos before. What is he doing in the chasm and why is he standing before you now? This crib of putrid flesh offends your taste. Oblivion comes now. Here is nocturne, or here it's nocturne place. I am that starlit strain that chills the soul, the peace that doomed throngs pitch, pitches into dance. You are among them, merchant vagabond. So tread the steps, I say. Escape fate's grasp. What is this dance you are so intent on dragging, drawing me into? The steps you know already, vagabond. A knife-edged minuet you must perform between oblivion foes and your own friends. So heed my sonnet well, it holds the key. A melody of snarling agony, beguiling now by rending flesh bewitched. Through sinnow, bone, and grisly pageantry, it calls the blood-soaked drape to come unstitched. A haggard chorus in the hall beyond, their flesh employed to serve the maestro's art. No prayer for mercy slips from throats confined, the baton sets the beat of every heart. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> um. Huh. An entrails are for him an instrument, and veins a living staff, sounds parallel. Yet death to him is no impediment, for corpses, tunes do not, or do carry just as well. Those spectacles of blood and gorge forge past, should crave your, should crave your eyes to glimpse sun's light at last. We need to keep going through the arena, I think. I don't know if this is talking about Mara's eye. Or the, uh, the Astartes. Ooh, or he's talking about a, uh... Yeah, I'm actually just gonna read this out loud. Everything is perfectly clear. There is a certain maestro of flesh who conducts experiments on the bodies of others. He has a laboratory that can only be accessed by fighting in the arena to draw his attention. With his assistance, I will be able to escape the chasm. Oh yes, and your name is Nocturne of Oblivion. Have I missed anything? Nocturne of Oblivion. <laughs> the Xeno stills and looks at you intently. He is not accustomed to anyone so adroitly and quickly navigating his verbal labyrinths. That much is clear. At last, you hear a low chuckle behind his mask, and the Xenos claps his hands slowly, saying one word. Brava. An indigo ripple passes over the Xenos' body, and he dissipates like a bad dream. Okay. Through the arena we go, but uh, we'll be doing that in the, in the next episode, so I hope you have enjoyed it. This was pretty cool. Um, Gamora is uh, fucking brutal. What a, what a place. What a city. What a city. I would not recommend moving here if you guys are, you know, looking for uh, a new place to live. It's not, it's not all that nice. Rent might be cheap in certain places, but I don't know. I feel like the social services here are a little bit lacking. Uh, yeah, guys, drop this video a like, and I will catch you all in the next one. Ash Herder out.